Good morning, everybody. Um, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are. Welcome to day two of the Alliance Annual Meeting. Um, in this warm-up session, we're just going to talk about the CPHA community of practice. And for those of you that haven't joined, I'm going to give you um, a bit of information on how to go about that. We would really encourage you to become members of the community. So the CPHA community of practice was launched at the, the previous annual meeting in October 2021 um, and is a collaboration between the Alliance and the Global Child Protection Area of Responsibility. Um, and it is a, uh, a specialised community of practice for child protection and humanitarian action practitioners. So our community is hosted on the Changemakers for Children platform, which is a social networking platform that also hosts other communities with uh, a child rights or a child protection focus. The community is an online space for CPHA practitioners to connect and communicate, to share updates and resources and experiences um, to help us better reach protection outcomes for children. Um, and the community is, is open to all CPA well, child protection practitioners. So we have some um, outside of humanitarian action that are interested in the work that we're doing and, and want to, to learn more and to collaborate. It encourages peer support, experience sharing and learning. It also encourages formal and informal resource sharing. Um, and it's possible to share with colleagues around the world. It's a global platform and it has an inbuilt translation function. So it's possible to translate all of the content of the platform into your preferred language. So it's very easy to communicate with all of the members on the platform. Within the main CPHA community, you can see circled here, we also have a sub-community on children associated with armed forces and armed groups. So a broad range of topics are discussed within the CPHA community, and we have a specialist group for CAFAG um, because of some of the sensitivities of that topic that has uh, access permission. So you need to request to join that group, but we very much encourage you to do that if it's a topic that you're working on. Okay, so if you have not registered yet for the community of practice, we encourage you to do that. It's a really great place to connect with other practitioners. We have around 12,000 members in the community now. Um, and we are using the, the platform and the community during the, the meeting this week. So if you haven't yet signed up, we encourage you to do that as soon as possible so you can make the most of the activities that are going on within the platform um, alongside the, the sessions of the annual meeting. I think the link to sign up is in the chat. So once you get to this landing page, all you need to do is click on the sign up button at the top there on the top right. Um, you can also already change your language before you start the sign up process with the select your language um, button right in the top corner and choose your preferred language. Um, and that will translate the sign up form for you already. Once you've clicked on sign up, you just need to go through the form. It's very straightforward. Um, just a little bit of information about who you are and where you work. And then something really important is this box on communities of interest. So in here, it's important that you select child protection and humanitarian action. And that will just mean that we know that you want to join that specific community and we can make sure that we add you as soon as possible. You can also choose any of the other communities that are interesting to you. Um, those are not run by the Alliance and the CPOR, but they're open and we're, we're invited to be part of as many as, as we find interesting and relevant. So once you have filled in the form, you will receive this little green message in the, in the green box here, um, which is just a holding message saying that your account is being reviewed. Um, all of the registrations are reviewed on a daily basis, just as a matter of safeguarding and to avoid spamming of the platform. Um, we are working to approve accounts more quickly during the annual meeting. So hopefully that will, will be quite fast if you, if you sign up today. Um, once your account is approved, you will receive an email notification with an individual link to complete your profile and to set your password. And then you'll be able to access the platform. Lovely. And then once you're, you're all signed up and you've set your password, this is how you get to the CPHA community dashboard. So the kind of homepage for the, the CPHA community. 
So if you click communities and then select child protection and humanitarian action from that drop down list, that will take you to our homepage. And this is what you will find. So this is um, how the CPHA community homepage looked yesterday. Uh, it might look a little bit different today as more things have been happening. Um, but once you're on this page, this is really where you can start engaging with the community. So you can post directly into the stream. So here you see a tiny picture of my face and next to that, uh, a box where I could type a message. So you can just post directly there and everyone in the community will be notified about your message. Um, you can start a new topic, which is uh, a, a good way to, if you want to share resources, you can attach things. Um, if you want to share opportunities or ask questions, it's, it's a, a kind of more formal way of posting and that encourages more replies. So um, to do that, you can either go to topics or you can click on the plus sign at the top of the screen. You can also reply to other people's posts and like and comment and ask questions. Um, the person that created the post will be notified so they'll know that you've, you've asked a question uh, and they will be able to get back to you. And you can search for events, resources, and other users. So we have events within the CPHA community that you can find in this blue menu bar um, and also across the platform more broadly. So you'll be able to see all of those as well and are welcome to join anything that you find. We have a number of user guides and introduction videos, which you can find inside the platform. Um, so don't worry that it might feel like a lot to learn. It is quite simple once you, once you get in and start playing around. Um, and when you first join, you will receive a link to the top tips for getting started that will come into your individual kind of mailbox, um, which is the little envelope sign at the top of the screen. So you'll be able to find that. Great. Thanks so much, everybody.